Hey guys, this is part two and the final part of my uh, disassembly and reassembly of the Super Square One. Um, I didn't feel it was necessary to go through the whole tutorial on how to match it color by color and just to put the pieces on one half and then on the other. Um, you can see the screws on this side, so you'll need that to keep that in mind, whatever side the screw is on, so you can easily just screw it back in. Um, this little ring thing, make sure you have it. Um, you'll probably lose it. It's real small. Keep it on you at all times. Um, be careful because the middles can still turn and your pieces will end up falling apart, like which happened three times in this tutorial when I tried doing it. Um, so basically, you're going to hold them by the, well, I should say, the half of their centers, and you're going to match the colors like this. So you're going to pick them up and put them vertical to each other, making sure that no piece falls off. And I mean, don't be afraid if it does fall off, because it will eventually fall off, if that makes any sense. Um, so basically, stick the pieces on like a flat surface. Give me two seconds. See, uh, this fell apart. Um, so basically, you're gonna put the screw where it should go in the little hole. And then you're gonna very carefully rotate it until the screw is visible. And you're just gonna stick your screwdriver in there until you screw it in just enough. And then, here you go, it's solved. But it is very loose. So just make sure your puzzle turns good and whatever. Make sure you have that circular piece, because you will need it. Um, so now you can go on. And you can also use this method to, uh, I almost grab my camera, you could use this to set the perfect tension to your square one. Um, I know just by feel of how the cube pulls together, what the tension should be set to for me. Um, I like my puzzles a little tight. I don't like them too loose because then they fall apart. Um, it's smooth in the first place. It's lubricated. It should just be a half a turn looser. And there you go. The lazy way to solve Super Square 1. Or just if you want to disassemble it and reassemble it. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, ask me. See ya.